Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, uh, yesterday government of Canada has announced a policy, a working policy for international students, those who are already in, those who have already applied. I mean, they have given a date, I mean, some criteria. So how it impacts future Canadian immigration? About this topic, I am going to share my views. If you have not already subscribed to my channel by now, then what are you doing? Please click on that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. And also I would like to clarify neither I am an, uh, I'm a government official nor I am an immigration consultant. So if you take anything out of this video, you do it at your own risk. So guys, lot of students welcomed this uh, decision because uh, uh, we are in huge inflation and every uh, part of the society, Canadian society is impacted. No doubt international students too with less working hours and high inflation many of them were uh, impacted now because they have some opportunity to increase their number of hours it will help a lot of them now coming to the future immigration this is going to have some impact i would tell you how this again proves a point that the government of canada highly prefer to give benefits and other uh, preference word i should use to those who have Canadian credentials, be it international students or workers. I would tell you how. Last year, there was a program to um, law. There was a program launched where uh, more than 90,000 people were able to apply under new pathways, right? For permanent residence in order to uh, fill the skill shortage. So, where people, those who were in Canada or had any Canadian credential got the opportunity to apply. And if you see the point scoring system, if you have Canadian experience, you get higher points under express entry. So, uh, and moreover, now they have this policy for students. So, if you see overall or uh, in other terms, all in all, they are preferring uh, students. So, definitely this is a way to attract international students and around the world during COVID when things were not good at all and in other terms, very bad. Still, Canada did much better than other countries. I would not say much about how things uh, went bad during those days. But if you compare uh, with other countries, Canada did much better in supporting. Because in some countries, students even did not get any support from the government, international students. But in Canada, they got much better support. So all these factors are going to lure international students into Canada. And uh, as of now, this policy is in place for eligible students till next year end. But you never know. They can always make changes to the policy. I mean to say, who knows, down the line, they may extend uh, uh, the criteria for uh, eligibility. Maybe students, those who, are, uh, those who arrive or apply after October 7, they may get eligible too. We don't know, right? Moreover, uh, the government of Canada will definitely keep an eye on the labor market and in case they find out that uh, by next year end uh, still labor shortages are not uh, within control then they may extend this policy with duration too right this is also possible I'm just thinking about possible pathways it may go down the line I know it's too early to say but I'm just considering possible outcomes because everyone at this moment is thinking about the these points not only me so same thing is true about international students as well they may also see that things are going like that why not go ahead and try for it so definitely like if let's say i am an international student or i am going to be an international student and i am sitting somewhere in india and i am planning my future i am considering all the possible options uk australia new zealand benefits life cost of living, future opportunities. I'm going to do my analysis, right? Most of the guys do. Most go to, uh, and some go to consultants too. I mean, they, so there are guys who don't do any anal analysis on their own as well. But most of the people at, do at least some sort of self-analysis. So if I'm doing uh, self-analysis and I'm comparing my possibilities among countries, I think Canada is going to be a very highly attractive to me. So definitely it will increase demand for Canadian student visas down the line because people may think that uh, I know it's too early that such policies may surface in future or may get extended, right? So 
that's what i think and that's what i'm discussing in this video thanks for watching this video guys and please subscribe to the channel